Hi there, Danielle Daya. Thanks for joining me at Craftiest Yarning 572 for this crochet bikini top or crochet halter top. I've made it in this greenish blue color and this dark beige color. It's easy to make and it won't take you very long to make. And you won't need to do any seaming or joining. Everything is included in the crochet process. And these straps that you see, that you tie around the neck and at the back, they're nice, thick and trendy. So this crochet bikini top is basically for sizes small and medium. The cups are about six and a quarter inches wide, six inches long. But you can fit a bigger size if you want a tighter look or you want to show more skin. But you can always make the straps longer or you could use a larger hook and or thicker yarn. We're going to crochet left-handed and we're going to use just three stitches. The single crochet along the edges, the double crochet, for the cups and then we'll finish off with the reverse single crochet or crab stitch as it's also known we're going to use it along the edges so this stitch is a very good edge stitch because with it the straps are not going to easily twist or bend out of shape and you won't need much yarn for this bikini bralette i'm using yarn left over from a previous project and it was called the patchwork crochet sweater please check it out so other tools that you will need for this crochet halter top are size 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need two stitch markers, okay, a scissors and a yarn needle for weaving off the tail ends. We are going to do the cups one by one first of all. To start this crochet bikini top, let's make a slip knot and then let's chain 29. We've got our 29 chains, so now we are going to make a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Then we are going to double crochet into all these chains, the rest of the chains, to the end of the row. We've reached the end of the row and we should have 27 double crochets, including that very first chain stitch there. So let's make a turning chain. At the end of every row, you make a turning chain. We got turning chain there and we're on row two so now what we're going to do is we're going to decrease on both sides of the cup so we can have curves on the sides and we also want a curve in the middle of the cup for about two inches or so going up so we place a marker around stitch number 14 or double crochet number 14 okay so this stitch is going to indicate where we start our curve okay and for the moment we are shaping only at both ends of the right side rows or the even numbered rows till we reach row eight so we shape on rows two four and six only okay so we start our shaping on this row which is row two and like all the right side or even numbered rows it should have a tail end to the left of the work okay and the tail end is going to serve as a guide as to which rows we are going to shape on. On row 2, 4 and 6, we decrease one stitch over these two beginning stitches. Okay, so yarn round hook, insert the hook into the first stitch, attach the yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn round hook, pull through two loops. Yarn round hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn round hook, pull up a loop. Yarn round hook, pull through three loops. Yarn round hook, pull through the remaining two loops. Okay, so we've decreased one stitch over these two stitches and we created a cluster stitch instead. So it's just one stitch. And if you turn the work down, you will see better that we've created 
just one stitch there and that's the stitch that you're going to work into on the next row okay so let's continue our double crochets till we get to that middle stitch at the middle stitch where the marker is let's double crochet three times into that stitch And then let's double crochet into the remaining stitches to the end of the row to the last two stitches of the row we will decrease one stitch like we did at the beginning at the end of the row we decrease over those last two stitches so let's do much like what we did at the beginning okay Insert into the last stitch, pull up a loop, yarn round hook, pull through three loops, yarn round hook, pull three remaining uh, two loops, and then you make a chain. Okay, so that's how we decrease at the beginning and end of row two, four, and six. And at the end of row two, we should have 25 stitches left, having started with 27. So when you're doing your count, your counting count these three stitches in the middle as one stitch and the best way to do your count your counting especially at the beginning is to turn the work up and then count the stitches like that so that, that those cluster stitches at the beginning and the end can show up as one stitch okay so we've made our turning chain we are on row three and what we do on row three the wrong side row is the same thing we do on row five and seven so we make two further chains and these are going to serve as the first double crochet of the row okay so we're going to double crochet to those three middle stitches there so yarn round hook we miss that first that cluster stitch that we made there at the end we miss it and we double crochet into the next stitch So let's continue to those three middle stitches. At these three middle stitches, we skip the first stitch, double crochet into the middle stitch. Then we skip the next one after that, the third one, and we double crochet into the next stitch after that. And then we continue to the last stitch at the end of the row there is this cluster stitch that resulted when we decreased over two stitches at the beginning of row two so what you do is you double crochet into the middle of the edge of that cluster stitch because you want to maintain the curve at the end there okay so you make a turning chain okay so you're on row four and what you do on row four and row six is exactly the same thing you did on row two and then row five and seven will be exactly the same as row three okay so let's knit back when you've done row seven and you're about to start row eight We've completed row 7 and done the turning chain and now we are on row 8 and at this stage we should have 21 stitches left or 21 double crochets. Okay, so we are no longer shaping the middle of the cup. We are no longer going to do three double crochets into the middle stitch. We are just going to do one double crochet. Okay, we are going to concentrate on shaping the sides of the cup and all along we've been decreasing on the even numbered rows even or right side rows row two four and six but now we are going to decrease both ends of every row on row eight we decrease over these first two stitches so yarn round hook insert into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn round hook pull through two loops yarn round hook insert into the second stitch catch the yarn pull up a loop yarn round hook pull 
there were three loops the unwound hook go through remaining two loops and let's continue to the end of the row to now double crochets in all the other stitches to the end of the row at the end of row eight you should have 19 stitches left okay these cluster stitches made from the decreases you did at the beginning and the end count as one stitch each okay so it's best to do your counting by turning your work like this and counting the stitches at the top there okay they, they should be 19 all together okay so once you reach the end of row eight you do your turning chain and you're on row nine and row nine now and all subsequent rows you are going to decrease over a cluster stitch and the next stitch okay so you just continue as normal okay yarn round hook insert into that cluster stitch catch the yarn pull through two yarn round hook insert into the next stitch okay so it's very important that that cluster stitch is taken as one stitch not as two stitches okay so you continue like that to the end of the row and then decrease over that second last stitch and the cluster stitch okay so let's continue to do that until you reach row 16 and at the end of row 16 we should have three stitches left and then you bind off and after that you weave off the tail ends because they're going to get in the way of what we are going to do next and you leave the stitch markers where they are because they're going to serve as an indication as to what the right side rows are okay so let's knit back when you've completed both cups these are our two cups all done and they measure exactly the same right round at the bottom the sides and the top so what we are going to do is join them together and do the straps that lead to the back so you lay them down side by side it doesn't matter which cup is to the left and which one is to the right so long as they are, the right sides are up and you know that the right sides are up whichever side has got the marker showing fully that's the right side so you place them side by side so we can join them together in the middle and do the straps we are going to start with the left back strap which is would be here so let's turn the cups around so that the bottom edges of the cup are facing up and we'll start with the left strap and to start that let's chain 62 we'll start with a slip knot and then chain 62 Once we have our 62 chains or the required number of chains for the left back strap let's connect it to the bottom of the left cup with a single crochet and then we are going to single crochet right along this bottom edge of the left left cup and we're going to single crochet in between these double crochets Let's continue to the end of the bottom edge of this left cup. To connect the cups, let's chain three. And then we do a connecting single crochet into the corner of the right cup there. And then like we did with the left cup let's single crochet right along the bottom of the right cup and then at the end of that we chain 62 like we did at the beginning with the left back strap once you finish the chains for the right strap you do two rows of single crochet right across and that will bring you back to the end of the right strap We've done our two rows of single crochet along the bottom edge of this bralette. 
and we finished at the edge of the right back strap so let's turn our work around so that the, the cups are facing up right side up and what we are going to do starting from the right back strap we are going to single crochet across this vertical part of the right back strap along the horizontal ed edge of the right back strap and then we'll single crochet evenly along the outer edge of the right back strap until we get to this point here so let's do that when you get to the top of the right cup you'll see these three stitches that were left after we completed the right cup a cluster stitch at the beginning one at the end and then an ordinary one in the middle but it's really three stitches there so what we do is single crochet into the bottom of the very first one there and what we do is chain 75 so we can begin shaping the halter neck part of this right cup so we chain 75 We've done our chains with the halter neck strap of the right cup. So we single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we proceed to single crochet back where we came from, back to the top of the right cup. So let's meet when we get there. Back at the top of the right cup, you single crochet into the bottom of that middle stitch and you turn your work around and you single crochet back up this right neck halter strap and then you single crochet back down again to the top of the right cup back at the top of the right cup you single crochet into the bottom part of the first part of this cluster stitch and then you proceed to single crochet along the inner edge of this right cup till you get to the end of it at the bottom of the right cup we have these three connecting stitches so we skip the first one and we single crochet into the second one but instead of doing it at the top, let's single crochet in between these two single crochets because you want a firm middle area. And then we skip the next single crochet and we proceed to single crochet up the inner edge of the left cup. And we continue like that and we complete the left side of this bralette the same way as we did the right doing the halter neck strap as well and we finish off at the edge of the left back strap we are at the end of the left back strap right side facing and what we are going to do to finish off this crochet bikini top is we are going to do reverse single crochet or crab stitch right along the edges going backwards the way we came and to include the bottom edge as well and we will finish where we started which is the top of the left back strap okay so to begin our reverse single crochet let's insert the needle into the back stitch okay. catch the yarn pull you through yarn round hook pull through two loops and let's continue like that into the next stitch at the back there So that's our crab stitch or reverse single stitch where we single crochet backwards the way we came. 
and this continue like that right along the edges including the edges of the neck the halter neck straps inner edges left edge right edge the middle as well right and all along including the bottom edge of this bra of this bralette until we get to the point where we started which is the left back strap and we'll be left with two two tail ends we just weave them off okay this is our crochet bikini top all finished but we need to give it a set of pants so please join me on my next video and i'll be doing the crochet bikini bottoms to go with a stop thanks for watching guys if you found this video handy please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel at craftiestyarning572. See you later.